Hello, welcome back lovelies. My name is Jack. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some makeup. We're actually gonna be doing this look right here. So stay tuned if you wanna see it and just, you know, get ready with me. I think I found my angle. But then it's like, is that vibey? I don't know, I guess it's not about the vibes. It is about the vibes. Sorry. Okay. Yeah? I'm just gonna have to get used to looking into the camera. <sighs> Janet. Whatever. Y'all know I like you because I'm putting in contacts for y'all. I don't put contacts in for a lot of people. I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna let you guys watch the process. I don't know if it's weird that I pretend like there's actually people behind the camera, but I actually really do. Like, I feel like I'm actually talking to y'all. I'm so glad I couldn't even see that my contact wasn't on my finger. Okay, there we go. She, we, we got her, we got her. But yeah, I don't put my contacts in for a lot of people. It's like, I like to wear them um but oh but they're kind of a pain in the ass um it's just my glasses are a lot easier i mean because you know you just put them on your on your face contact sometimes you have to Ooh. try a couple times okay oh my god let me go ahead and grab my other stuff now i look a mess but that's fine This is the way I just carried my makeup in here. So let's let's talk, not talk about that. Okay, gotta get my tea. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my primer. Um, if you saw my video, my first video I've ever posted, it was my go-to products. And those are actually gonna be the products that I use in this video. So if you haven't watched that one, I will link it down below so you guys can go give it a watch. Um, but this is the First Aid Beauty um sorry y'all trying to get her there we go this is the first aid beauty pores be gone matte primer um and this product is amazing i really do love it so i just take a little bit on my fingers honestly you don't need much not much um put it on my fingers put it onto my face and whenever i do my primers especially if it's a, a pore filling one i go ahead and i pat it into the skin instead of rubbing it whenever you rub products instead of patting them in it will really move the product all over your face so you just want to lightly pat into the skin i mean look it's not too much of a difference because it is just a primer but it really i feel like smooths out some of my skin texture um psa i guess i am on accutane for my acne so a lot of these are just scars now that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, but you know, beauty is a process and we're all so beautiful. So just live your life. I think I'm saying that more for myself than y'all, but I don't know. Okay. So now that I have that primer on and I let it sink into the skin, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and go in with my powder foundation. In my first video, I did go ahead and say um, that I believe that powder foundation works on my skin better than liquid just because I have so much texture right now. And sometimes liquid products have the tendency to just like really get into those pores and, you know, kind of make your breakouts look worse. So I am going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. Um, this is in the shade 220 Sand. Um, and the brush I'm going to be using is the Real Techniques 200, the Expert Face Brush. And I just go ahead and tap that product in, take it to the face. And the best way to do uh, coverage, in my opinion, is you start where you think you need the most coverage. So I'm going to take this brush and see... All this redness right here, I mean, I have redness everywhere, but in some areas it's more than others. So I'll just go ahead and take it and I'll pat it in 
to the color and then kind of stipple it up. Notice how I'm not dragging it. I'm really just patting it into the skin. Whenever you drag the product, you're going to lose the coverage. So I'm going to take a little bit more, put it on those red spots, and then slowly tap it out. And I'll go to the other side. I'm going to tap, 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 tap and really press it into the areas that need more coverage. I'm really gonna let y'all see kind of what this foundation does up close. And just tap it into the skin until you feel like the coverage is good. Now, I will do some videos wherever I use cream products, um, but that will kind of be once my texture clears up. But whenever I do do that, I will go into depth about your base, <clears throat> your concealer, and liquid contour and blush products. Um, but like I said, just because my skin is kind of upset <laughs> at this time of my life, I like to use powder because I feel like it really does, um, you know, upset your skin less. So guys still have so much texture, but like this is normal guys, like still having texture is normal. So I don't, I remember whenever I would watch YouTube growing up and so many people it looks like their skin was flawless on camera. And it's like, it's not y'all, trust me. Look, I have texture, everybody has texture. And it's just something that you're gonna have to get used to. Um, whenever you use your foundation, I always like to drag it down because you want your face to be the same color as your neck. If you've ever seen people that have mis mismatching foundation to their neck, it's always like a very cut dry line, you know? It's one shade, one shade, and you want it to be the same. And while I was doing that, I noticed this little pimple not wanting to be hidden. See? So sometimes it takes a little extra coverage, you know what I mean? And that's okay. Okay, now, after I do my powder, I really like to set my face. So I go ahead and I use my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Um, <clears throat> this was also in my video. This was also... This was also in my video. There we go. Um, and it is just a really good, cheap setting spray. While still being quality, you know? So I love setting spray. I really think it helps the makeup kind of just like melt, especially when you use powder, guys. If you are using any powder products on your skin, you need a setting spray. Um, some people can get away with it because they use all cream down to the contour, down to the blush, down to everything. Um, but if you are putting powder on your skin, you want to use a setting spray. Even if you're just using cream. Like I just highly recommend using a setting spray. Um, now... I'm going to go into my eyes. <sighs> I always have such debates over what I want to do with my eyes. But... Hmm. We're going to go ahead. And... Huh. There she is. Okay. So I have a lot of Real Technique brushes. Um, I got them from Ulta or Amazon. Like I said, I'll leave all of the links down below. Um, and I don't know. They're just good quality brushes for not that expensive. Um, this is the Real Technique 300 Delu <laughs> Deluxe Crease Brush. So 
anytime I start with my eyes, I am going to go ahead and let's see if I can zoom this in. No, I can't, but I can go closer. Okay. I go in with a transition color. Um, this can either just be, uh, like a light, I don't know, a light shade that is just a little bit different than your skin tone. So since I'm going to be using <clears throat> all the videos, <laughs> all the products from that first video I filmed, this is going to be the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Palette. Um, those are the colors. I really do love them. And I'm just going to show you guys an easy, what, let's say like five minute eye look, which really isn't bad because sometimes eye looks take like 30 minutes to an hour. So yeah, this is going to be an easy one. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with that real technique, techniques brush. I'm going to take this pink shade this light one. Like I said, this is gonna be my transition color. So this is a color that is going to kind of just <clears throat> start to warm up your eye to more color. I'm gonna take it on this side. Ooh, just dumped it on the wrong color. See how that just a little bit is a different shade than my eye? We don't want to go too drastic yet because we are still warming up the eye for product and for different color. So I'm going to go ahead and work this all over the lid and the crease everywhere. Y'all look how chapped my lips are. Like nobody was going to tell me. This is Vaseline, rosy lips. There we go. The Vaseline rosy lips. Yeah, that's a good product shot right there, y'all. Yeah. I wish I was famous enough to get paid. Y'all are gonna take me there though. Okay. So <clears throat> now that my eyes are done, y'all. This is why you don't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this. Hmm. What do I want to do, y'all? Actually, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that pink. And I'm just going to darken up that crease a little bit. And just really bring that color all around. Honestly, I don't really know what look I'm doing. I'm just kind of going for it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a... This is a Eco's Tool brush. I don't really know which one. Y'all, I need to up my brush game, but I cannot justify spending like money on new brushes right now. Yeah, but whatever. Okay, so this is the brush I'm using, Eco Tools. And we're going to use this brush to go really deep into this part, okay? So I'm going to take this color, this deep brown right here, this kind of like mocha, chocolate, yumminess. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here in the crease. And just leave this right here on the inner. See how I'm not dragging it super far up? I'm not dragging it super far in. I'm just leaving it right here in the zone. <clears throat> Don't worry, we're gonna blend it all out. I know, I'll probably look crazy. Now you're gonna go ahead and take it on this side, do the same thing. Like I said, you're just gonna leave it right in this crease, okay? You're trying to add, this is, okay y'all, this is gonna be like a natural smoky eye look. That's what we're gonna do, yeah. And so you want this color to, really pop and make the crease of your eye like you know what I mean bring attention to your eyes so you're just gonna take a little bit 
a little bit more and just keep blending that out. Once you feel like you have a pretty good blend on it, you're gonna go ahead back in with that first brush you used. Like I said, you don't have to be using the same brushes as me, okay? Use whatever brushes you want. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and go with that first color that I was using, that light pink. Tap, tap, tap. And you're gonna go ahead and just blend that brown out a little bit. See how it's making like a pinky color? Instead of like a brownie color, you know? That's the beautiful part about makeup. You can make whatever shades you want. You can make whatever look you want. Sometimes my, whenever I don't use a primer on my eyelids. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna pause right here because I recently made the transition to powder foundation. I've been doing my makeup since I was probably 12 and watching YouTube like that, so 10 years. And almost 11 y'all and basically i would use liquid for everything so i would just use my concealer on my under eye and i'd put it on my lid and that would act as a primer now that i've switched to powder foundation i kind of forgot about eye primer so sometimes like my skin my eyelid skin does not want that pigment to stay and that's okay y'all sometimes your body says no and that's fine as long as you blend it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I hope I don't have a ton of texture on my face. I probably do, but whatever. This is what it looks like so far. I feel like it's good, y'all. Y'all aren't. Yeah. And what you're going to keep doing is you're just going to keep switching in between these two colors. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Switching in between the pink and the brown, the pink and the brown, okay? And you're just going to slowly build up that color. And sometimes you can just tap it in, tap it in, tap it in, tap it in. I'm listening to Harry Styles' new album, and I'm, like, all over it. I know it's not super new, but the... What was it? The other ones? My computer doesn't want to recognize me without my glasses. Harry's house. That's what it is. Harry's house. I love it. Y'all have no idea. I've been obsessed. Okay, so you're just going to blend that out until you are content with the color. You can always add more, always add less. Just make sure you come back and blend it out <clears throat> with that first transition color. I really need to train my eyes to look this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. But I want to look at my face. But I need to look this way. Wait, guys. What if I did it this way? Does that look better? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, okay, I like that better. Blend that out, and then you're gonna have a pretty good, like, slight smoky eye. Like I said, sometimes the skin doesn't wanna pick up that pigment, and that's okay. It honestly kinda helps the look because it looks more defined. Um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a lid color. I don't know which one yet to do. There's not too many options. I'm kind of thinking about doing this like pink, but it is kind of dark. This one. Come on, camera. Come on. I'm thinking about doing this pink one, but I don't know, y'all. You know what? Do whatever you want. I'm going to do it. Do you think it's going to be red eye though? I have a better idea. I'm gonna go in with this copper one. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't even see and I'm like trying to really show y'all. Okay. Okay, yup, there we go. This one, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy. Mm. Kind of crazy. Kind of like it though, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Ooh. Y'all, looking up close, I gotta blend that out. Add a little bit of pink, blend it out. Add a little pink, blend it out. Okay. Do I want to do that to me? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. So I'm going to go into this copper. I got ready. Okay. And you're just going to take it over the lid. I like to stop right in the middle because I like the crease to be dark. Let me keep y'all in the loop. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do it on the other side. And like I said, you're gonna stop like right here. Okay. What, you want to say hi? Like, I just want cuddled. I don't want to look at the camera. That's fine. And that's fine. Okay. All right. Now that your eyes look like that, looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Looking pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of that pink again. We love a transition color and just blend it out. See what it's used for? It's used for transitioning, right? So every single time you transition to a new shade, you always take go back to that transition color and blend everything back out. Okay. If you have like excess shadow, you can just clean it up. No stress, no problem. And man, ma'am and if it's not leaving you can always go back in with your foundation powder foundation brush and just clean that up again hey hey you and me are doing this one. over there she keeps wanting to fight and i'm like that's no all over my computer You're gonna have to learn. Don't look at me like that. <clears throat> Trouble. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that inner corner color. Um, I actually did not mention this in my video, uh, my first one, but this is the NYX, the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. Um, color is it it's the rose gold one okay yeah um this is the nyx stick i just dropped i just dropped something yeah well this is the nyx the nyx stick in rose gold Come on, baby. Off of the computer. No, ma'am. You want the watch? That was good. Glad that happened.
there. <sighs> yeah, Lee, y'all. This is what you do. See? Oh my gosh. Okay. For some reason, this stick did not want to be shown off. But this is the NYX. There we go. This is how you do it, y'all. Profesh. Professional. Uh, this is the rose gold epic wear. And I'm going to go ahead and take this and put it just right here in the inner corner. Add a little bit of brightness. Add a little pizzazz, you know. It's like, I'm doing my makeup for no reason other than to film for y'all. And whenever I do it, I kind of bring it up a little bit higher. Just to add, you know, a little. Okay. So, eyes are almost done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that same e.l.f. palette. And you're going to take like a short... Um, liner brush and I'm going to go in with that dark brown that I had before is that dark brown mm -hmm. I know it's not focusing but whatever <laughs> one day we're going to get this down here and I'm going to go ahead and take it right under the lash line okay you're going to blend it out right under the lash line And see how much of a difference that makes? And just really accentuates your eyes. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with mascara. I don't know why I'm yelling. Like, I don't know. You know? I don't know. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So the two mascaras I'm going to be using are going to be the Telescopic and the What the Fake. The What the Fake by Essence. What the Fake by Essence. The volume is Fibers. <clears throat> and whenever I do my mascara, I take the brush. And I kind of zigzag motion it all the way up. So that way all those lashes from the top to the bottom, or I guess bottom to top, is getting, yes, it's getting product on it. <clears throat> Y'all are probably going to be in the comments like, why don't you just wear fake lashes? Why don't you just wear fake lashes? But... Because I like my mascara. And sometimes you don't need lashes. Okay, this next part I'm going to do up and close because that's how I like to do my mascara. It's kind of hard to do it in that, in my video camera. That's my chapstick. No. That's my chapstick. You don't get to play with that. Like a true baby. And then you're going to just take it on your bottom lash. Same process as before. Just kind of zigzag it out. If you feel comfortable with your lashes, you can move on to the next eye. I like to put on a ton, so. I'm coming off, does that? Like, uh, oh yeah, I guess y'all can't see. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next eye.
Oh, if you get mascara dots on your eyes, let them dry and take a Q-tip to them. Peanut said, it is my time to shine. Mm. She's real confused. She has a cone on too, so she, her life is just, mm, yeah. She's like, what is happening? Sometimes I do my lashes and I don't even have to go in with a telescopic. Um, the only reason I usually do that is if it's looking really spidery, you know? If you're, if you wear mascara, you know what spidery looks, you know, you know what I mean. See, I block stuff all in my eye. Oh! And sometimes I stop my eye. Usually multiple times. Stop! Off of my computer. No. I cannot with you today. Like, leave my computer alone. I don't know why. She said volume increase. Okay, and then... Once your lashes are done, like I said, I keep them chill, keep them chill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my bronzer. Uh, this is the Real Technique, Real Technique, Real Technique 402 brush. Uh, it's the setting brush, but I actually use it for my bronzer. Um, <clears throat> and for my bronzer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 355 Coconut. Um, I like to use this because instead of getting a whole palette of different colors, you can just choose one, you know? So that's what I do. And so I just take a little bit on my brush. I take a little bit on my brush, tap off the excess. And then I start higher than normal. And just slowly blend it out, blend it up. And these are light strokes, you're not, you know, just very slight because whenever you rub product, it, you know, rubs all the product underneath and sometimes you don't want to do that. So you want to be very light when you're applying product on top. See how much that just changes the face and lifts it. I'm gonna put it up here. And then just slowly bring it up. And slowly bring it up. I never realized how much work goes into YouTube videos, you know? You always see them and you're like, oh, that's easy. They just recorded themselves doing makeup. But it's like, yeah, while trying to keep your cat off the computer and keep an audience engaged that's not even there. And then all the editing that goes into it. Okay, take a little bit on the nose. And then once my bronzer is done, I go ahead and go in with my blush. And sometimes I just keep it on the bronzer, but I like to do my blush too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my blush brush. This is a Real Technique 400 blush brush. So it's my story. Uh, this is the Milani blush um, in 15 Sunset, Sunset Passion. It is a baked powder blush. That is going to be the shade. I mean, it is just like gorgeous. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Like just gorgeous. And it's even probably darker than what it looks like 
to y'all on the camera. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my blush brush, tap off the excess. And then whenever I do my blush, I kind of hold my brush so it's angled. So that way it gets exactly the spot I want. And I kind of put it up high in the cheekbone because of the way my face is angled. Um, every face has a different structure. And so the way you apply your makeup will change the way your face looks. So for some people, the way that I'm applying my blush and contour is way too high. Like they don't have that style of face, so it will not work for them. I can always make a video on different face shapes and how you should be doing your makeup. Because like my roommate and I, we have different face shapes, but we still do our makeup together. You know what I mean? Just in different ways. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I heard this thing that the, you're supposed to like wear blush so it's not noticeable. And I'm like, nah, honey, I wear, I wear noticeable blush. And I take it up here just to kind of um, help contour. And then it doesn't look like your face is just like pink and your cheeks, you kind of look sun glowed all over. Okay, isn't that such a difference from the beginning? Okay, 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 okay. Um, see, texture, normal. Texture, normal. Texture, normal. Now I'm gonna go into the bathroom and get a Q-tip. <clears throat> See, this is the part where you need to be patient with your mascara. You're just going to take a Q-tip, wait for that mascara dot to dry, and just take it, and it will lightly pick up all the mascara dots. Go under your eye, wherever you need. Now I'm going to take the other Q-tip I have to clean my brows. Um, I was very blessed with my eyebrows and I know a lot of people are not. So I know brows are a really important step. If you ever want to see me do brows, I will grab one of my friends and I'll put them on camera and I will do their brows for you guys. But like I said, I got lucky with my brows. So I just take a Q-tip and I clean out all the powder because that's something you should always do is clean your brows after you do your bronzer and face makeup and everything i always like to do the brows last because it does just pick up so much product as you're doing your blush as you're doing your contour and all those things so yeah and then i just take my fingers and i do that i know that's like really i'm really lucky but Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my headband, take my hair down. Um, oh my gosh, guys, I almost forgot lipstick. Let me grab my lip liner. So it's over here.
Okay. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, I'm gonna do this, this lipstick actually. Um, I'm gonna go in with this lip liner by ColourPop. It is in the shade Shot Clock. I'm gonna take that line eye lip. I'm actually going to use a mirror because not all of us are perfect. Okay. Once you got your lips done... <laughs> You are going to go ahead and go in with the lipstick. This is um, Maybelline 660 Touch of Spice. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that onto my lips. Okay, so lips are done. Hair is just gonna be natural. Um, this actually just happens for me throwing it up in a bun and then letting it down. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, I forgot setting spray. And then once again, you're gonna go in with your setting spray, just a little shrika shrika. Never too much. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and just fan your face. And then that is going to be the look. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching the video with me and I hope y'all stay to the end. Um, all of these products are going to be linked down below in the box um, and I will be releasing a video every... I don't know y'all. I really haven't decided yet. I'm sorry. I probably should, but I just wanted to film a video and I don't know, talk with you guys and hang out and yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day and just remember how special you are. Bye.